Well, it looks like to me up in these areas, the trap has been set. We noticed that the SPY has just been trickling higher on light volume with this whole GME and AMC problem coming to light. And the reason that I'm saying that trap might be set and that might be coming to an abrupt end very, very soon is because of the dollar starting to get closer and closer into positive territory. Once that dollar goes into a positive trend, we're noticing, hey, the SPY holding up at higher levels, but the dollar going extremely higher here once again. And now we're closing back above all those moving averages. We've got a few hours left in this, but if this starts to go positive, it might mean that rug pull is right around the corner. It might even happen over the weekend. So we're paying attention to that as we get into some technical analysis for the SPY cues, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, NVIDIA, AMD, and Meta going forward, looking at AMC and GME as well. And there was a lot of important stuff to get into today. But first of all, I just wanted to mention, hey, congratulations to everyone who was taking this Palantir trade. This is what we posted over on Patreon. Thank you for subscribing. So you found this info helpful. I did talk about it a little bit live, but we posted it to Patreon first. And this is the exact kind of setup real quick. We're going to have a little lesson to start the day because this is the exact kind of setup I I like to see. Notice that I do have this 30 minute divergence going up like this. And I see the indicators giving me that divergence here on the RSI, on the MACD at the same time. And these are the two things, right? We wanna make sure at any time this 30 minute is not curling up, going back positive. But the reason this setup is so good, and this is why the, the course that's only $100, this is really a setup that we would really, really enjoy, is because we also have the divergence on the MACD and RSI at the same time on a two hour chart as well. So now we can see that weakness come in. We'll see if that 30 minute can rotate back up but as of right now dropping to lower level so congratulations if you were able to um, understand this and if you want to learn trade setups like this there's a course in the description it's only a hundred dollars for the whole month of june get get some good knowledge about these indicators and see stocks how i do talk about weekly ranges we talk about um, a trading strategy for when things get a little more volatile and i think volatility is right around the corner so thank you guys so much for subscribing let's get into the video so real quick, just wanted to show how the SPY heading to higher levels, and we do have those daily expected moves for you. The daily expected moves have already been posted to Patreon for the individual stocks that we're covering, and that does include AMC and GME. We're going to talk about that once we get over there. So right here, uh, 545 to the upside, 545, 48 to the upside, and we do have 539, 42 to the downside. So another smaller range for tomorrow, which tells me maybe there's going to be light volume, or maybe we're going to see something crazy happen. So if we're going to see something crazy happen, we got to dip below this range the problem right now is the 30 minute has seen that pullback right now how would we would how would we be talking about the spy we would say right now the 30 minute is in some kind of pullback and it looks like that could cross up in positive territory what happens when we cross up in positive territory positive price action okay so the level to pay attention to for tomorrow if that does cross up 545 48 to the upside now if we go into a two hour though we're going to see hey this thing's been cooked for a while now we're starting to come down on it a little bit let's see if this is able to cross over at any time but we would still only be talking about a pullback remember we can't talk negatively about a stock until that actually crosses the center line. Okay, we have to pay attention to that. Now we're looking for reversal signals. So what if this dropped down and then actually created some kind of divergence like this? This would be a more telling reversal and trend signal. But as we've headed up and up and up for a long time, we see the dollar increasing, telling us the insiders are selling. It looks like they are creating a scenario where the uh, retail traders will be holding the bag at the end of all this. And I don't want you guys to be that. So I just want you guys to know we are talking about these indicators to help you learn how to actually use them and that's what we talk about in the course so uh, as we look through at the daily side we notice that this thing is curling back up we kind of violated the divergence we are creating up here on light on very light volume throughout pretty much all these moves okay the volume here not looking the best and then if you go look at the volume of GME and AMC, well, the volume's huge. If you go look at NVIDIA, the volume's huge. NVIDIA, GME, AMC, they all have massive volume, which tells you I think those are the real rig stocks in the market right now. And I think NVIDIA actually has some reversal signals that we're gonna point out today. So we're gonna go through that in a moment, but for now, let's switch over to the cues just so you can see on the daily scale how we're heading up and up and up and up. And the problem here is you do have weekly triple divergence forming as of right now. Okay, so you have weekly triple divergence forming right now. We already told you about the monthly. We're gonna go over that this weekend, so make sure you're subscribed for the macro side of things. We do that on the weekend. And right now, if this actually did start to come down from this level, sure, it's still considered a pullback till it crosses that center line. Then we talk negatively about it. As of right now, we kind of have to talk positive about it if we end the week like this. But we might just see that fade by the end of the at end of Friday. We'll see what happens going on into tomorrow. I know that Roaring Kitty did uh, potentially exercise some of his position. We'll see how the market 
market reacts to that. And let's just pay attention going forward right now. Triple divergence here on the queues daily up in no man's land. So we may be seeing a few extra little pushes on light volume to get people more and more trapped as XLU is way down at these levels down here. Um, that difference between XLU eventually we will catch up. And I think the dollar heading higher tells us we may catch up very, very soon. So let's just go into a two hour here to get you those ranges. The ranges for tomorrow are going to be 480.96 to the upside and we have uh, 472.48 to the downside, okay? So a little bit of a decent size range, right? Not the worst range in the world, but the two hour, if that crosses over at any time, I mean, I think we're going to actually see some kind of full-fledged pullback. The reason I can kind of assume or get some probabilities of that happening is this is this is June, right? And we're already out of the top side range for the queues. We're well outside of it. I believe we're outside of it on the SPY as well. We have a 68% chance to land back down in this range by the end of the month. 68% chance to land down in that range. And we have a lot of time till the end of the month. So we could do that very, very soon. But we need this two hour to cross over and go negative first. We have to talk positively about the queues, even with this terrible price action here. We still have to talk positively about it because even if it did roll over, that could be a pullback. We could see that you use the monthly expected move as some support at this point because it turns into support and maybe we do something like that before this actually crashes down but it really looks like our timeline is pretty intact here so according to when i put out that video of saying a crash will most likely be starting um, in the next 30 days well we have about 12 days left so we'll see if i'm right now, Apple, everyone asking me about Apple going crazy. This is why those expected moves are important to understand because once you get outside of them, you need to see a reversal signal to actually take a trade. That's very important. We talk about that in the course. You don't just want to say, oh, here's the weekly range right here. So, okay, 68% um, chance to drop down from here by Friday. No, that's not how it works. There's a lot more to it and we help you out in the course to do that. Links down in the description, but you can see crazy things outside of these moves. So you really want to see weakness in the move with divergences and things like that. And order to actually take a trade so for apple right now what do we have to do well we still have to talk a little bit positive about it but it is in a pullback as of right now it's dipping down to the center line it looks like it may want to curl up so if that curls up at any time hey positivity test the high go make a new one okay and we give you those daily ranges for apple for tomorrow and then if we look at the two hour the problem here is the two hour has been cooked for a while it looks like we're due for some kind of bigger pullback maybe we just pull back into the area down here down towards that 205 down towards that 200 level and then we see that curl back up but right now this is just positive it has not rolled over you have to wait till that rolls over gives you that confirmation of another upside move for apple this one just going ballistic to the upside so we have to talk positively about it if i see a reversal signal for apple i will tell you but as of right now i think they just needed to pump another stock higher to kind of rig the market even more i think you're going to see a lot of moves like this and we'll get into that next with tesla right tesla seeing a move down here we cross up and we said if this is able to break through with that price point of 173 172 to 173.50 that right there was a pretty bullish move boom we break through it we get a little pullback we break through 180 and notice that we gapped above it this is a very important level so it doesn't want to lose that but if the two hour rotates back down look at that it's going to be negative again this is a very wonky stock at this point it's just ripping people back and forth if we go into a 30 minute we would just say hey right now it is saying pull back if that curls up at any time well hey that means positive territory what can we do maybe test the high go make a new one okay so it's not saying that everything for Tesla is bad, the daily scale is looking like it wants to turn up. Okay, so if we're able to turn up, that would say another positive move for Tesla. I would just be cautious with this one going into tomorrow. We have a little bit of options expiration. Obviously, next Friday will be very important, but if that starts to roll over again, you're still very close to the center line here. So just be cautious with Tesla. It's very, very wonky, very trappy behavior going on right here. Amazon on the daily is going to experience some weakness if this starts to turn over on the daily scale because you're right by negative territory, which means bad things for the stock, okay? So now we're actually seeing a time where you're really close to the center line and that could mean the momentum is shifting down, okay? All I'm talking about here is teaching you how to read these indicators and I'm trying to do it a little bit in the future so you can be prepared and react. That's all you're doing. You're in control of the buttons. I'm just showing you how to use these indicators and right now, if the daily were to cross over, it would immediately go negative. That means 
bad things for the stock. Okay, but if that wants to remain positive, turn right back up. Okay, if it doesn't cross, that means good things for the stock. Okay, so as we go into a two hour, you're gonna see, hey, two hour pullback is what we're seeing right now. So if that wants to curl up at any time, that's what you would pay attention to for another upward move. But we just noticed up in this area, there's some there's some wonky divergences, but you got a solid one right here. This right here was a solid divergence. You can see the entry point being as, that you'll learn in the course entry point here, you get a little bounce, okay, now we get the rip down. Great, great little trade setup there. And the two hour was able to roll over. So what you would say here, if uh, you would say be in a downward trade or something like that is, well, what is the indicator telling me? If it crosses up and goes positive, then that two hour cannot keep going down. It's just physically impossible because the 30 minute, all these charts are going up. So that would make the two hour go up. So if this 30 minute crosses, it's pretty close to the center line. That would tell me, hey, maybe I wanna manage that risk. Managing your risk is very, very important because this market is rigged. So you have to understand to always be managing your risk in every single trade. And we teach you that in the course. It's the last video in the course. And we're also going to add to the course this weekend talking about um, some uh, investing. We're gonna teach you how to invest on monthly and weekly and daily charts. It's going to be very, very fun. I'm going to try to make it as good as I can this, this weekend. And if it's good enough, I'll post it on Sunday. All right. Now let's go right over into NVIDIA. And right here, we're just noticing here the 30 minute. I just wanted to really back out. And I think it's cleaner on the hourly. Let's look at the hourly for now. This is a triple divergence on the hourly scale. So I think NVIDIA actually might see some weakness soon if we can get this to confirm. If you confirm, this thing has just been going parabolic to the upside, really just stair-stepping up, and eventually that will drop off. So we will be paying attention to this tomorrow. The reason that I'm really paying attention to that 30-minute, two-hour divergence, a little cleaner on the two-hour, or on the uh, hour lead chart is because of the two hour it is so so clear if the two hour is able to roll over here it does have a good shot to go negative now you just want to be careful because until that goes negative you are still in a pullback now it doesn't mean like hey wait till we go negative right you want to try to do things a little bit early pay attention let your macd tell you with the divergence that there is weakness up here and then manage the trade in case that thing turns right back up Okay, so we're paying attention to that going forward. Now, if we go into a 30 minute for the shorter time frame, this is overall actually going to help you out because if you start to curl down and then you curl back up, you know this is not going to be the bigger drop. You know there possibly is some more positivity in the move. There's always a way up, there's always a way down, and you just have to be on your toes and be able to react. You always wanna be thinking one step ahead. That way you have a plan going forward in any trade. AMD was an interesting one because you almost got a little double bottom here, kind of a slightly higher low here, and we're curling up and we're trying to go positive. The only thing is if I zoom in, we're not yet. Okay, so this could be rolling over. The problem with rolling over here is the weekly move is here and we're going into Friday. When you start to go into or above weekly moves into Friday, reversals are less likely if you start to end outside of them, okay? Now you can see a rigged move up or something like that. Pay attention to your risk, but right now, AMD not showing the best sign of recovery, but the two hours hour here looks like at the end of the day it was able to curl up so that would tell us hey at least some kind of bounce is coming some kind of bounce is coming is what this indicator is telling you right here now if that crosses the center line most likely you do break through this trend if that crosses the center line most likely you do break through this trend now you still that's a most likely you want to still be paying attention in case that just rolls right back down so if this two hour rolls up kind of goes positive for a moment and just rolls right back down that means there is more negativity coming because you are in negative territory down here on the MACD for AMD. We have the daily range for you for MACD on there as well for tomorrow. Let's switch over to Meta for a second. This one's saying two hour pullback. That's what this one is saying. It's saying two hour pullback as of right now. If that can get close to center line, curl back up. Hey, positive territory, positive move. Positive territory, positive move. So we wanna pay attention to this going forward. The reason I just wanna talk about the daily scales because even if you did get that pullback, you just wanna be aware if this daily starts to cross over. Daily momentum is way stronger and it can start to roll over into negative territory, which means we could head a lot lower. Now you've seen a lot of good price action from Meta. So you just wanna pay attention if that daily is able to curl back up if that were to happen, okay? We're always thinking a little bit in the future on this channel to help you react. Reacting is one of the best ways to trade. You do not necessarily wanna be guessing or anything like that. So what we're doing is forming these scenarios. And then if one of those scenarios ends up playing out, we can then know how to react accordingly. 
Now AMC and GME, we're gonna get into these and we're gonna do the full analysis. First of all, AMC closing above two of the average, two, or a lot of the moving averages here. It just needs to get above that 200. We're getting really tight on these Bollinger Bands. So you know a big move is coming. And the thing is right now, AMC on the daily scale is positive. That is a good sign for the stock since I believe most people that watch these videos want the stock to go up. Well, this is a good sign, but it isn't a pullback as of right now. You need that to confirm upside. Maybe we get some kind of little pop and that's able to confirm upside and close above the 200 and then we keep going off to the races but if you really want something unexpected to happen this friday first of all you need to close above the daily expected move that is over on patreon the links in the description and then uh, 633 is still very important remember this is the weekly expected move upside for amc so that means if we closed or got outside of this in any way especially early on in the day yeah we have that 68 percent chance to land back in here by the end of the day because it's friday close right it's the end of the week but that is also what you want to happen in order to see an explosive move just like apple you want to get outside of that range because that is where crazier things can happen so 633 is a good line to watch right now we will be watching that live with you tomorrow morning let's go into a two hour the two hour here for amc actually a little bit stronger than gamestop we're going to go over gamestop's two hour in a second but the reason it is stronger is because one it is positive and it is green. So it has crossed up and it is in positive territory. Those are two very big check marks to see positivity. Now, I just wanted to point out one time over here where we saw a similar price action. Notice that we did get a mini cross up and then that crossed right back down. That tells you immediately that is not the moment. So if this were to cross down, then you do have potential to see a negative trend. We could break through this right here. So pay attention going on into tomorrow. There's probably gonna be a lot of different topics being talked about on Twitter. I'm encouraging you hey just pay attention to your signals right now they are bullish in bullish territory if they cross over then they will be bearish in bullish territory and if they cross that center line then you start to be bearish on the stock until that is able to turn back up we are just paying attention to momentum it will really help you out especially with amc and gme because they're actually performing kind of good like they're they're actually looking kind of good on these charts okay you can actually do some analysis on this more than what we can do in a lot of these parabolics stocks that are just being squeezed upward on low volume. 30 minute for AMC. What do we notice here? Well, it is positive and positive territory right now. It's crossed up. You got green bars and you're in positive territory, meaning you're above the center line. All the things that we talk about in the course, guys, this is all we're doing with this stock. Why do we pay attention when the 30 minute crosses up and goes positive? Because, well, let's just look at the last time it crossed up in positive territory it was on this bar right here. And what do we see? more positivity we crossed up right here and what do we see more positivity from the stock if you really want to go all the way back right if we want to go all the way back look at this we crossed up right here on the 30 minute and then boom right when we go positive right we go positive right away boom we see a positive move so if you want the stock to go up you're going to need momentum to go up from here and that's what you were paying attention to today we're paying attention because momentum right now for amc on a two hour and on a 30 minute are both positive as of right now and if that flips back over to negative you're right by negative territory so if that flips and you see red here right red bars down here then you should not expect upside until that reverses back around we will be paying attention to that tomorrow okay gme what are we noticing here well it did do the same thing it's curling up going positive and positive territory that's a great thing for the 30 minute i just want to point that out this is a great sign for the 30 minute and then as we go into a two hour still we want to pay attention if that rolls over it's right by the center line so we know that's not the moment but two hour two hour was not able to confirm upside at the end of today so that is very very telling that tells you we still have to talk negatively about gme until we get a little bit more price action so if that's able to curl up look how close it is to going positive boom a positive move can come what do we notice back here once we went positive on this bar right here well, ever since that bar, boom, we see big upside. So you need momentum with you in these moves. This will help you out in you know, deciding whether or not the stock is actually going to see a big move or not, maybe an entry or something like that. As we look at the daily scale, the big thing about the daily scale is it is rolled over and we are not confirming upside right now, but we are just a bearish contrarian indication here. We are in a pullback, okay? Because we crossed down in positive territory. This is still in bullish territory. It's just a bearish sign in bullish territory right now. So if we are able to curl that back up at any time, boom, we get that to curl up, then daily momentum is with you and we may see a big, big move.
Now, two more points and then I gotta go, but that's okay. Um, I'll be live tomorrow morning and you can join, especially if you're new here, please come ask questions about the course. It is very, very helpful. And a lot of people have taken the course that joined the live videos and they can tell you how it has helped them. But right now, what are we seeing? Well, as of right now, we shouldn't really expect volatility to increase. Why? Because the daily has just crossed over to the downside um, on the MACD in negative territory, which tells us maybe we actually squeeze in the market a little bit more, okay? That's why it's important to watch the end of these videos because now you hear something a little bit different right volatility is telling you hey there is potential for us to squeeze a little bit more now this is a slight reversal candle so if we're able to turn up here that would be a good thing here's your signal for volatility turning back up it's if this two hour can curl up pretty early tomorrow because you do still have divergence on the macd on the rsi at the same time down at these levels down by 12 12 right about a week ago we were saying hey Right over here, we were saying on June 4th, we were pretty much like, yeah, look for this to go down to 12.12, create some kind of higher low. That would be something interesting if we can create a higher low somewhere in this area. Or we're going to drop down on the daily, get a squeeze and see a divergence down there. Both of those are great signals and we want to pay attention to them. Now, there is a slight thing going on here that no one is talking about and that is the flight to safety possibly happening right now with TLT. I know everyone's talking about yields with all the data we just got. PPI just came down. See CPI just came down. Okay, awesome. But this has been a sign of flight to safety once it goes positive. Okay, if you go back, you look at the crashes, we did it live. We showed you when you cross up and you go positive in this area, well, you can see that flight to safety come in or a rapid move in TLT for some reason, which then leads to a crash later on. So we know those yields look like they may be coming down a little bit right now, but are they going to come down rapidly because something broke in the system? We have a lot of banks in trouble, a lot of liquidity issues, and I think AMC and GME actually might tear down this market if they see a big move. Okay, so the main takeaway for this video is it looks like, yeah, we could see some kind of squeeze according to volatility, but that squeeze might be short-lived and we may want to be careful holding anything long over the weekend. Eventually, these crash signals, we will catch up to them and I believe that the bull trap has been formed and maybe it is still forming, but I believe that we are getting very close to there. The dollar is telling you that, volatility is telling you that, and the flight to safety with TLT might be something big to pay attention to. Watch out out there. You know, if you guys need to learn about this stuff over the weekend, I really appreciate all the support I've been getting with the uh, questions about the course with people joining the patreon with people liking and subscribing it's been fantastic I really do enjoy being here for you guys I think we're having a lot of fun and paying attention to the right things on this channel and all I want to do is be helpful so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it watching to the end of the video is one way to support the channel and I really appreciate that I hope you have a great great night and all the luck in the world trading tomorrow I'll see you live tomorrow peace